Well, I have come to convince myself there is a type E endometriosis personality. Here's why. I have been treating women in New York City from all origins. They are high achievers, PhDs, lawyers. They would not accept any, any sign of pain on their faces. They won't show it to you. They will hit the road at 6 o'clock in the morning, grab their coffee, they're at work, working all day, and the next day again the same thing. These women, pain, they can suffer, but they cannot show their pain. For years, they live the same thing over and over every month. However, one day comes, they close the door, they sit in front of you and say, I can't take it anymore. I need something to be done. I'm going this and this. I've been going to this doctor, that doctor. I've been taking this medicine, that medicine. I've been on birth control pills. I've been on everything, the nutritional exercise, uh, acupuncture, uh, diet. And what do I have? Guess what? You have endometriosis. You have endometriosis that can be treated that could have been treated years ago, probably better, but still treated. Curability, there is no guarantee. However, with good surgery, there is very good results with treatments. That is why I say these type E personalities then becomes a different person after surgery. Some of them get pregnant. Most of them get pregnant with good surgery. And their pains, 90% of the time, their pains are less. About those groups, 50% of them almost experience very little pain. If their pain comes back, they accept it as endometriosis. They understand they will be having some adhesion. Some, maybe one out of five, a little bit more, can go back to surgery later in the, in the years ahead of their first laparoscopy. But overall... You have a patient who's communicating with you, who, are, who is understanding, who is assisting you in their treatment. I think uh, uh, this is a big plus when you have a patient participating to their care, knowing their diagnosis and helping also, willing to help others. We, I have been developing these group, group of pockets, particularly in New York City. They have been friends, they have been... Uh, Patients, but also advocates of early diagnosis. They are willing to speak. They're willing to go and, uh, and uh, educate others too.